So, this is uh, a kind of supplement to our week 8 lecture 3 that is 24th lecture in which we discussed principal axis or principal directions of a rigid body. And uh, you know what this principal axis are if you have x y z axis then you have product of inertia terms and uh, principal uh, moment of inertia terms i x x x y etcetera i x z like that. So, if all these product of inertia terms are 0 the axis are principal axis. So, that is kind of a definition principal axis and we had uh, two simple ways to identify if a particular line is uh, principal axis or not and one was rotational symmetry axis, rotational symmetry axis. If you have a rigid body and origin is given here and you are searching for three principal axis with this origin and you find that okay, here is a line which is a rotational symmetry axis. If you rotate this body about this line by an angle 2 pi by n, n integer and greater than 1, then this line will be principal axis so that we had uh, given. Another was reflection symmetry plane. reflection symmetry plane. So, if you have a rigid body and you have a point origin and you are looking for principal axis of uh, directions and then you find that okay, there is a plane, there is a plane through this point which is reflection symmetry plane. If you reflect the whole rigid body in this, the mass distribution does not change and then you say that okay, any line perpendicular to any line perpendicular to this plane is a principal direction or principal axis can be taken as principal axis. Now, the supplement I want to discuss today is that the choice of origin is not to be forgotten. You first choose the origin and then look for all these axes. Otherwise, if you shift the origin or you do not think of the origin, a particular line whether it is principal axis or not that cannot be guaranteed. So, I give an example, our uh, example of this rectangular plate with some length L and some width B uniform rectangular plate. So, we had seen that if I take this as the origin and then if I take this as y axis, this is x axis and then we calculate and the z axis is here and then this is rotating about that y axis that we had done in the in the lecture. That if it rotates this way with a uniform angular velocity, L is not parallel to angular velocity vector, angular momentum vector is not parallel to that. The torque is equal to I alpha does not work because this is not a principal axis system. These three axes are not principal axis system and you can see that x i x y is not 0. x and y are always positive and therefore, that minus m i x i y i or integration d m x y that will not be 0 and therefore, all those things happen. But if the rotation is about z axis, if the rotation is about z, z axis then everything works well because this is a principal axis from this point this is a principal axis and that reflection symmetry plane works. This whole plane itself is a reflection symmetry plane and this is perpendicular to that. Okay. 
but now I give another example. So, this is not principal axis direction, this is not principal axis direction, this is principal axis direction. Now, I give another example that same plate, the same plate and I take the origin here, suppose this is the origin and then this is x axis and this is y axis and the z axis is like this. Now, if you calculate that product of inertia term, z is 0 everywhere. So, i x z and i y z these will be 0 and i x y is also 0, is also 0 because you take any y, any y, any element here, any element here and then uh, if I take a corresponding element here then that minus m i x i y i you can write in integration form also. So, for this element here it is x into y and for this it is x into y, y is same positive, but x is negative here, here and positive here and so pairwise this term will vanish and that can be done everywhere, everywhere you can distribute these pairs here, 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 here and so on. This entire thing can be thought of made of such pairs and i x y is also 0. So, this is a principal axis system. So, this line think of this line, think of this line. This is not a principal axis here, this is not a principal axis, this x axis the same edge, the same edge is not a principal axis here, but it is a principal axis here. Okay. So, this is important if I from this origin if I take this as the plane as a plane right this as a plane. So, in that plane if you reflect that plane is a reflection symmetry plane and lines perpendicular to that from any point from here from here from any point will be a principal axis. If you, your origin is is on this plane if the origin is on this plane then you can draw the perpendicular and this is a principal axis, but here that is not the case. Here that is not the case, this plane is not reflection symmetry plane, this line is not perpendicular to that and it is not the same line is not a principal axis direction here, the same line is principal axis direction here. So, do not forget to first choose origin and then look for the principal axis from that origin. So, that uh, uh, you can add to our lecture 8 and uh, week 8 and lecture 3.